Oh, oh, oh. It's not a three. It's a monster of a fish. Good fish right there. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy. This is Fish and Lone Star and today's video is going to be a two-part. One is going to kind of be a little bit of a walkthrough of my kayak that I'm rigging as you can see with electronics and a lithium battery. But then I'm going to take it on the water and, and see if, if my work actually works. Uh, so there's my dog Finn back behind me. Finn, Finn, you say hi. Say hi. All right. There's Finn. But also over here you see I've got the seat and the pedal drive for the kayak. But what I'm working on is installing this lithium battery and my Hummingbird Helix 9 Gen 3. And I'll kind of show you what I'm working with here. Uh, kind of unique because I'm taking it somewhat off my boat. This, this uh, Helix 9 is going to be transportable from my kayak to my boat and back and forth. Let me show you kind of how I have it set up on my boat and then uh, we'll talk about the kayak. All right, so when I first got uh my unit my graph installed on the boat i chose to do a ram mount because it allows me to easily take that graph on and off here uh, and obviously just easy connection here with uh, that hummingbird connector so i've got the ram mount here now i'm actually able to use the transducer that came with the graph because when i installed it i also installed it with the mincota tarova trolling motor so i've got the transducer built in here so i did not need the transducer that came from the graph so i've actually got the extra transducer right here and so this is what i will install on the bottom of the kayak in just a second i'll show you that but i'll show you first what it looks like on the back of the boat okay so i also have a helix 9 here at the console now it runs mega down and mega side imaging off the back of my boat Excuse kind of the mess back here, but it runs right here off this transducer. So I'm gonna take the other transducer and you'll see I've inverted or flipped, if you will, this bracket to be almost kind of upside down. So that's what the bracket normally comes with the transducer. And so I took it and flipped it upside down. All right, I know it's not great lighting. I'll move back over here where you can see better, but I just want to show you the difference of the bracket and why I'm doing it this way. I'll show you in just a sec. So let's take the battery over to the side. I'll also take the graph off. Let's flip the troll motor up and I'll show you exactly where that transducer is gonna go. It's really cool too that I like about the ram mount is, uh, so it's got kind of a swivel. I can rotate this thing up, down, sideways, swing it out. And I just screwed it right down into the track. So yes, those screws actually do go into the plastic on the kayak. So yes, there's holes, but two of the holes are down in the middle of the track. So even when I take this mount off later, there's actually only one hole over here that you'd actually be able to see, but it allows for pretty easy use kind of swivel around and I can take this whole thing off and just leave the ball there if I wanted to. This is the 106 uh, by Old Town, the PDO version. What I like is that hole that goes straight through to wire your transducer. So I'm gonna run it through there. I'll probably make a hole somewhere along this wall, uh, either up here or down here on the side to, uh, to put my wires in. One wire will run right over here to the transducer. Another one will run back here to the battery because I'm going to keep the battery right here behind my kind of crate that I keep uh, my tack one rods in and then I'll just run the wires right out through this hole and to the battery that'll sit right there. So let me turn it over and I'll show you the bottom. All right so this is the bottom and kind of like a mounting plate right here. I went and picked up some screws that I can use right here but I'm going to put that transducer and the bracket will go right on there like this. So that transducer will sit right on the bottom of the boat. And then the wiring right here from the transducer will run right through that hole, straight back up to the top. And it'll allow me to then uh, hook it up to my unit or my graph, but we're gonna connect it just like that. It, it, I'm gonna turn it sideways, you'll see it'll, it'll sit a little out. That metal may, may come out just a little bit off the bottom, but I don't think it'll rubber scratch too much. So let me take off this little plate here and uh, we'll show you what that looks like. So that little mounting plate comes right off. There's the inserts for the screws. 
that he goes into. And just so you know, those are about the size of a number 10, a number 10 inch, I'm sorry, a number 10 half inch screw, right? So I picked up those, I picked up a washer and I picked up a locking nut. And uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount that bracket right onto these holes. I will put the nut on the bottom side, the lock nut, and uh, my washer on this side, and we should be able to mount that bracket to give us a, a good spacing right here on the bottom. All right, we got our bracket attached. As you can see here, there's those lock nuts. There's our screws there with the washers on them. So we got the bracket attached to the mounting plate. We'll now just slide it right here, attach those screws again. We already got a cable running through this side. And uh, so our transducer will sit pretty flush under the bottom. Uh, you can kind of see here, it'll sit. That mounting bracket may come out just a little bit. Sorry, it's a terrible camera angle. angle. But it may come out just a little bit. Let's see if I can show you this way but not much, especially compared to the nose of the kayak there. Guys, that is it. It is attached. So that is what that transducer looks like on that Hummingbird Helix 9 Mega Down Imaging. Pretty darn sweet. i give you an angle of what that looks like. It is tucked in up under. So my hand is flat with the bottom of the kayak. That transducer is tucked under. I will say Old Town did a really good job with this mounting plate right here. It was very easy to attach the bracket that came with the transducer. All I had to do was really go by those two screws and washers and locking nuts, which again, there's the parts right there. Pretty darn cool. Let's flip it over and uh, run some wires. All right, now I just thought of something. Now, I don't really know the answer yet, but this is what the pedal drive looks like and there's that transducer i'm wondering i mean it's close i'm wondering if the transducer that's coming pinging down is going to have any interference off of this drive right here not really sure that's all i have to test on the water and find out but it's gonna be close i have just coiled the transducer cable or wire right here. It's obviously long because it's meant to be, well, not meant to be, but it's it's long for a boat, right? To run from the front of the boat to the back of the boat or mid boat to back of the boat. So for now, I'm just gonna coil it and leave it right here, kind of in this hole. If I decide later that that's exactly where I want it, I just wanna make sure that the transducer underneath there isn't being uh, interfered with by the pedal drive. So if it works, then great, I'll leave it there and I'll put a hole uh, in here to go into this uh, hole. A hole to go into the hole, H-U-L-L. -L. And then from there, I'll run my wire back out to here and I'm about to drill a hole right there so that I can run my power cable back to there. So, let's get after it. All right. Moment of truth, we got our Enduro lithium battery. That 12 volt, 50 amp is plenty to run this graph all day long, but we've got our power cable running right through this opening underneath, out this small hole right here, up to the graph. I will later take this transducer cable, run it through here and out that same hole and make it look a little bit cleaner with these cables. I just want to make sure it works though before I drill another hole there. So let's uh, hit the power button. See if this works. All right, we got power. Let's fire this up and see if the transducer starts clicking as well. Yep, I don't know if you can hear that. It is clicking down there. It's obviously not gonna pick up anything or read anything, but our transducer is sitting right down there. You can hear it. Kind of those ticks. It is working. We got power. Now we just need to make sure that, that doesn't run interference down here. 
with our pedal drive. So let's take it out on the water. Probably gonna do that in day two. But let's take it on the water and see if this works. All right guys, good news. We are on the water and the graph works. The transducer is reading just fine. I'm sitting still, so I doubt that's that many fish. Uh, probably is a school though, coming below me. Uh, but pretty darn awesome. I've been on this particular lake several times. Never actually, actually I've only been on the kayak one time out here, but never with any type of graph and imaging. So now, as I fish out here, I can actually see what's under me and depth and huge thanks to Enduro Power, that sweet lithium battery. Man, that's what's getting me out here and on the water with some electronics now on the kayak. All right guys, we're about to take some kayak fishing to the next level. Now that we got some electronics, I've got that Enduro battery sitting right back there behind me and uh, it's gonna power this graph perfectly. So make sure you say, stay tuned to the channel. We're gonna do a lot of kayak fishing. Drop me a like and a comment below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hey, if nobody sold Jake, God loves you. And so do I. Peace out.